Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember time is fluid. So this could be something that happened in your past, currently in your present or coming up in your future. Roles can be reversed, so take what applies to you, the person on your mind, your situation, and leave the rest. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. And we're gonna start with seeing how you feel about this person. Show me how Libra feels about the person on their mind. Let's see how they feel about you. Oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I see the, in the connection between the two of you, we do have the judgment card, the star and the five of pentacles, trying to give things a second chance or see things like in a different light and heal, trust, all of that, but feeling very left out, left alone, uh, left out in the cold. Um, and it just didn't work, I guess, like the second time around or really trying to make something out of the situation. And clearly you see that, um, it's like they're taking away from your happiness or the situation. I don't want to say that particularly the person, it feels like the situation is really taking away from your happiness. Um, not healthy, not good. So how you feel about them, we have the death card, we have the queen of wands, and then we have the ace of cups. Uh, things are over with this person. Um, this is done. Some of you are dealing with a situation where they had somebody else. Um, I do see you not chasing them. Like you're just like, I'm done with this person. I'm living my best life, you know, feeling victorious and um, looking forward to new relationships, new beginnings, and new abundance for yourself. Uh, how they feel about you, we have the devil, the chair, and the five of swords they feel that you were very toxic for them that the situation you two had a very unhealthy relationship and it all um, happened so fast to go towards a lot of conflict between the two of you like this is very unhealthy and they feel like you were quick to conflict or the situation became quick to conflict between the two of you just not a very healthy um, relationship so let's go ahead and start clarifying we're going to start with the death card Also, side note, Libra, the fact that, you know, this person can't control, I feel like they, they like to control things, even if it was a silent kind of control, the fact that they can't keep you bound to them in some way, even though they felt it was unhealthy and didn't work and there's a lot of conflict, it's, there's something that makes them upset about that. Yeah. So you are seeing things very clearly and things are over between the two of you. You two had a very nice life and you feel that they looked at other options when they had a commitment and you were seeing things clearly um, that, you know, from above looking at the whole situation, uh, making that final verdict that, you know, this person only causes me pain and they're only going to continue to do so and that it's best to guard yourself. Um, they've hurt you one too many times and you don't want that anymore. You you feel that it's best to leave that all behind and start new, start fresh, um, and put the pain behind you, the hurt behind you, and keep yourself protected. So let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Wands. Oh, 
Okay. I see you going through like a recovery phase, recouping after the situation and just kind of rest, relaxation, really working on self-care and love. We have the four of swords, the hangman and the death card and the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is some big stuff that you're doing here because you're feeling very victorious. You're feeling like everything is working out for you. And it's all because, you know, you're taking the time, you're taking a break from things, um, reflecting on what needs to change or what you want to um, be different in your life. And the love goes back to you. You are really attracting a lot of good positive energy to yourself because you're putting that work into who you are and I love that for you um so you're feeling this change and it does feel good it's a lot of love uh let's go ahead and clarify that ace of cups <clears throat> okay so I see you talking to someone okay this is a new um if it hasn't happened yet, you're going to have someone who enters into your life as a friend. It's going to kind of go slow, but this person, you can tell that they do have an interest in you, a love interest, but you're not sure if you can trust them. You're very cautious and wanting to know more information and just be casual conversation right now because you've been hurt too much. You're not really looking for love, but you're looking for a friend. And so you're like, I just don't know if I can trust people with everything that has happened. Um, you don't want someone to steal your time, progress, or where you're heading. But I do see you engaging with this person cautiously, um, just making sure that you are guarding your heart. You feel like your heart is not open to receive the love as far as um, to get, I don't want to say receive, like to give love or receive love from somebody else while you are working on yourself. Um, but I do see you talking to this person. So let's go ahead and clarify the devil. All right, so this person does feel that the relationship between the two of you was very toxic and they are not interested anymore. Things became stagnant. They don't want this. They want a fresh new start and it looks like they are taking that to relationships that are very meaningful. Now, they might be looking for someone who provides like a, a calmness or a comforting kind of uh, motherly or I'm going to just say parently kind of energy, just something that they're, they feel very relaxed in. Um but this person is, is definitely like, no, um, they're not wanting the cup, um, that was offered in the past just because things became different. And this fresh new start, it does feel like they're going back to like money, um, building their life the way they want it to be. Not only that, there's something about relationships that currently exist in their life, like family, friends, things like that, uh, they've put off and now they are hanging out with them more. So we have the page of wands, you know, they're just kind of exploring um, the depths of those relationships that they feel are very close to them and make them feel more grounded into who they are. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Okay, so when it comes to where their journey is taking them and direction, this person actually might be moving away, but I do see them moving on, quickly moving on, because the chariot is clarified with the chariot, seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. So, you know, deciding where life is taking them, they're making a choice to make a logical approach or a logical decision after reviewing everything that they're going to follow their heart and take leadership over what they want in life. You know, being patient, but also being practical, um, moving fast at the same time, um, maybe even moving away, like I said. But, you know, they're quickly moving in a direction of trying to build something for me. Let's clarify that five of swords. Wow. If you can believe it.
this person with this five of swords, they're very conflicted in their mind about the fact of how things ended between the two of you, that there's so much hurt, pain, and they're trying to heal that and work on those things within themselves so they can move forward and move on from the pain. But there's still that conflict there. There's still the, you know, upsetness of, of this situation and it feels difficult. It's something that's coming back to them as a recognition to heal it um, and it needs to be worked on to heal it. Otherwise, they're going to continue to feel that pain as they move forward. Let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person. We have the five of pentacles, the two of wands, and also the knight of swords. The world card is at the bottom of the deck here. So, you know, this loss here um, to communicate between each other, anything like that. Nobody's really doing anything. I see you going in a direction that's beneficial for your growth. You're kind of making a plan to explore and stay focused on you. Um, they are going through the struggle of feeling that loss and how things ended, but working through it um, and making the decision to stay focused on like closing out that. I see you both closing this chapter and ready for what comes next in your life. Um, so kind of, you know, accepting that this is just how it is and this is how it needs to be between the two of us. Um, let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you. So the first one that comes out is going to be infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. And that is exactly what is happening as you continue to work on your self-care and growth um, and getting back to you and accepting some changes happening. But it's beneficial for your growth because it's going to push you in a really good direction. Um, and navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, whatever makes you happy. Definitely follow that, you know, trust your intuition, trust your, you know, yourself that you are heading in the right direction. No, don't try and make something fit. Like if it doesn't feel comfortable, I don't see you going in any direction that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, you're very level and balanced and grounded, but you know, the abundance that's pouring into your life, follow your bliss. If it, that abundance makes you happy, then go after it. You don't have to rush after it, but go in the direction of it. And then we have embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. And there are butterflies in this Oracle card, which tells me that change and transformation, which I do see in your reading is happening for you. Um, slowly, surely, uh, I don't see it like as a rush, but it's like the more you reflect, the more you're changing, the more that, um, you're starting to see a transformation within yourself. And we also have wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Absolutely. So this is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Sorry for the background noise. My cat decided she wanted to play at the end of your reading. So, all right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.